now CBS 46 Sports with Emily Gagnon. Well, that sounds good for training camp. So guys, the pads, they aren't out yet, but a ton of work still got done today during day two of training camp in Flowery Branch. The Falcons first padded practice is on Tuesday. Tomorrow, another big change to talk about fans. They will be there. Now to something else that needs to change. Matt Ryan, he needs better protection. The Falcons have struggled in that department from 2018 through 2020. He was sacked 42, 48 and 41 times. That's the breakdown per season. In 2019, the franchise made a big investment when drafted guard Chris Lindstrom and tackle Caleb McGarry in the first round. This year, in the third round, guys, they took tackle Jalen Mayfield out of Michigan with Matt Gano and McGarry on the pup list. Well, Mayfield has a shot to see the field right away. You'd love to have everybody healthy. It's just not going to happen. It's not reality in the NFL. And so you got to attack it. You can't spend a lot of energy wasting, worrying about, oh, what if this guy was here? He's not. So, and that's where somebody like Jalen. So you say, all right, you can work him inside. And now, you know, he, he played tackle in college and he's getting an opportunity right there. And it's only going to help. Him. The MLB trade deadline was earlier this afternoon and the Braves completely remade their outfield. Adam Duvall, Duvall, he is coming back to the A. The Braves sent catcher Alex Jackson to the Marlins for Duvall. He originally joined the Bravos in 2018 and spent two seasons in Atlanta. The Braves also acquired Eddie Rosario from Cleveland for Pablo Sandoval. Yeah, that means no more panda hugs. Then they picked up Jorge Soler from the Royals for a minor league pitcher. They also sent Bryce Wilson and a minor leaguer to the Pirates for reliever Richard Rodriguez. And speaking of trades, word is the Hawks, they are sending Chris Dunn and Bruno Fernando and a future second round pick to the Celtics for Tristan Thompson. The Hawks now have a backup for Clint Capella since Onyeka Okongwu will be out until January with an injury. Sean. Yeah,